Hey coaches, it's me again. I know you're so glad to see my face. It's been several months since I've been back. I know you guys are really excited to get started in your new spaces. The gym looks amazing. You guys have done an incredible job staying on top of your tasks and following lesson plans. And now it's time for the next step with the new rec room. So the biggest thing that I'm gonna say, and if you don't watch any of the rest of this video, I need you to listen to this part. If you don't know where you're supposed to be and when you're supposed to be there, you are going to run out of time, you're going to get frustrated, and you're not going to be able to finish your rotation. If one person is late rotating to their event or if they are out of place, the entire gym is going to be out of place and they're going to be late. And then everybody's going to be frustrated and somebody's going to be hollering. And then everybody's going to be running to Chris, telling on everybody else. So you need to make sure that you look at your schedule. Go exactly where it says to go. Stay there for as long as it says to stay there. And then rotate. If that means some days you don't get finished with every single thing that you want to do, that's what going to be what it has to mean. So you have to manage your time a little more appropriately. The program is growing. There's a lot of kids moving in and out of spaces. There's a lot of kids that are there multiple days a week. There's a lot of coaches. We have to make sure we stay on schedule. So this next part is gonna be teaching you how to read your schedule. So coaches, this is what your rotation schedule is going to look like, and it's not going to change, okay? Every week on Monday, the rotation schedule will be exactly the same. So let's go over it. It says electric one, week one. Warm up is at 415. The first rotation is vault, which is at 425. The second rotation is at bars, which is 440. The third rotation is at beam, which is 455. And then the last rotation is at 510, it's positions and terminology, and then you dismiss at 515. Week two, your starting event is different. You guys are now going to do three 15-minute rotations. Okay, so for recreational classes, you're now doing three 15-minute rotations. Rec coaches, unless it says gym vault, gym bars, gym beam, gym floor. You need to assume that all of your rotations are in the recreational room. Now, if you look right down here on tumbling, you see where it says gym beam floor. That is in the big gym. Okay. See also it says gym floor one and two. That is in the big gym. Okay. Now, something that you guys are not going to be used to is there are now people scheduled for dead floor, rod floor, and tumble track. My cheer people, you can't be on that space. You need to make sure that all of your athletes are on the floor waiting if that's where they're supposed to be, okay? This schedule is gonna be posted in every room, in the rec room and in the big gym. I also suggest taking a picture of it on your phone, writing it on your hand, whatever you have to do, okay? Because nine times out of 10, there is somebody following behind you. And here's how I know. I have scheduled the entire gym, okay? This is the whole gym schedule. This is by the area, okay? So if you look over here, there's somebody always coming in to the next spot. And if you are late, it's gonna make the next person not be able to start on time. So please make sure that you are reading your schedule. You guys are gonna have this one, so don't worry about that big map. You guys are gonna have this one on each day, Monday through Friday. Make sure you're reading it, okay? Make sure you're following it. And if a traffic jam does happen, because I did schedule all 332,000 classes, um, please make sure you go see Sierra and she will help you out. And so can Corey. Um, they understand how to put everything in the map to make sure there's enough space. Hey coaches, it's me again. We're here to learn all about our rec room because everything's about to change as soon as all the building is complete. 
So first thing is, is to your left is our rec warm up area. This is where the dots are. The dots are where the children are gonna stand when they come in. So Riley is gonna be our demonstrator. So Riley, it's time for class, come on in. Riley, I want you to find a dot of your favorite color and sit in a pipe, whichever dot you would like. Good, and turn your legs this way and sit, turn them this way. Yep, turn them this way, skin a roof. Good, and sit in a pipe right there, waiting for class to start like a lovely lady. I love that. The next thing that happens, coaches, is when you get your athletes in, you're gonna walk over to the radio and you're gonna press play because we have a whole warm up and timing system for you. So you're gonna know when to press. The radio is right over here. And there is going to be an iPad and you're just simply going to press play and class is gonna start and it's gonna give you some music and some warm up and it's gonna tell you what stretches to do and it's gonna tell you what time to rotate. Okay, coaches, to start your recreational classes, everything is now going to be automated over the speaker. So when you come in and your children are sitting on the dots, the first thing that you do is you press right here on the iPad where it says Rec Warm Up. That's right here. You press it. It's going to bring up a YouTube link. The YouTube link is still loading, but I think you guys all know how to use YouTube. And you just simply press play. Like I said, it's still loading. And it will start. Welcome to class. It's time for punch front warm up. Everybody high knees in place. It's gonna take you through a warm up. It's gonna take you through stretch and it is also gonna tell you when to rotate at your stations. When class is over. Oh, cl class is over when the YouTube is over. So it ends at exactly 59.59 seconds, and that will be when it is time to dismiss your athletes. The order of the video is going to be warm up, stretch, three 15 minute rotations, then you bring the athletes back to where they started for warm up and five minutes of positions and terminology. Then you may dismiss your class when the video is over. Coaches, if you are scheduled for a recreational vault, you will be on these two panels with your vault circuit set up. It is very rare that someone will be on vault and bars at the same time. However, it will happen. Just make sure you're aware that the kids don't come running across. If you are scheduled for recreational bars, this is gonna be the bar area that you are in. The bars serve as two stations. So there will be one station on one side of the bar and one station on the other side. Same thing for this bar. The bar will be divided in half. One station on one side, one station on the other, and a floor station in the middle. Coaches, if you are scheduled for recreational beam area, this is the area that you will be in. Coaches, if you are scheduled for the gym rec floor, that is the left side of the floor closest to the barn door. If you are scheduled for the tumble rec floor, that is the right side of the spring floor closest to the ninja area. Coaches, this is the beam floor area. If you are scheduled for the beam floor, this is the area that you will be in. Coaches, if you are scheduled for gym floor one and two, that is the entire gymnastics floor in the back. If you are scheduled for gym floor one, that is the three and a half panels closest to the vault runway. If you are scheduled for gym floor two, that is the three and a half panels closest to the balance beams and the bars. Coaches, if you are scheduled for cheer floor one and two, that is the entire area. If you are scheduled for cheer floor one, that is the left side. If you are scheduled for cheer floor two, that is the right side. It's very rare, but sometimes the cheer floor does have to be divided in half. 
Coaches, if you are scheduled for dead floor, rod floor, and tumble track, this is the area that you will be in. The mat storage will not be there any longer. If you ha are scheduled for dead floor, rod floor, and tumble track, you will have all three complete areas.